I ask you to join me in prayer. In 1 Thessalonians, it says, Pray constantly. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. We pray constantly right now, dear God. We lift up our mind, we lift up our eyes, we lift up our heart to you. We do not pray, dear God, to change you, but instead, God, to become ever more conscious of you and your presence in our lives. We pray that we're attuned to divine wisdom. We pray that we are attuned to divine strength and your love. And we pray that we feel your comfort. In prayer, we understand that disorder, disease, and lack are in no way a part of your will, dear God, for us. In prayer, we ask you, God, to show us the way to a world of order. Show us the way to a body and mind of health. Show us the way in our emotions to joy and show us the way in our life towards prosperity. We are aware, God, that your will for us is good and only good. We pray that this prayer becomes a part of our everyday life and that we remember to pray and to become one with you. We pray that our times of going aside for a while in prayer nourish our soul just as food nourishes our body. When we pray, we pray that we pray as Jesus did. We say, not my will, but thine be done. We pray, dear God, that we're lifted above personal will, limited will, to your expansive will. We pray that we know that your expression of good will fill our lives. Prayer, we pray, is the joy of communicating with you. And we pray that we remember we even crave to do it in a regular way and a joyous way. We attune ourselves, God, to your will. Your will of absolute good for us. And we pray constantly knowing that we are immersed in that will. And we give thanks for it. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.